Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of the Fabulous Catalyst magazine. As you can see, I'm coming to you from yet another hotel room, this time in Phoenix, Arizona. And it's about 110 degrees outside, so I'm just super happy to be inside. <laughs> Yay, air conditioning. So today I'm going to share with you two tips that I think you're going to find really valuable that you'll be able to use. So the first tip has to do with something so simple, just drawing an arc, right? I'm just going to go into the arc command, and I'm going to do the center option because I think that's the best way to show this. Now, as you know, through the years, the arc command loves to draw arcs that are counterclockwise. <laughs> I try to draw it clockwise, it's like, oh no, it's so not going to go like that, right? <laughs> it's going to always wants to draw it counterclockwise. So. Really cool feature that was put in a couple of releases ago is the ability to override that simply by holding down the control key. AutoCAD will let you break that rule, and now I can draw an arc that is clockwise. Yay! One of those things if nobody tells you about, you're never going to know. <laughs> very, very simple. You let it go again, it goes back to counterclockwise. All right, so that's my first tip. Don't forget that when you're drawing an arc. Of course, over the years, we've managed to kind of get around that, but now you don't need to. So the other cool feature, also put in a couple of releases ago, is the ability to fill it an open polyline to itself. Now in the past, if I tried to fill it an open polyline to itself, AutoCAD would once again be like, oh no, it's not going to go like that. <laughs> Bossy AutoCAD. <laughs> so I'm going to just show you what I'm talking about. Another thing, if, if nobody tells you about this feature, you're just going to continue to think that it's not available or you can't do it. So you can see that's a polyline, nothing up my sleeve. I'm going to go into the fillet command, and very simply, I'm just going to select the two endpoints there. It doesn't matter whether they're poly arcs or if they're straight polylines, I can now easily go in and fill it that open polyline to itself. Awesome! Double awesome! <laughs> so there, you learned two tips that I hope that you'll be able to apply. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Peace out.